Hello friends and welcome to AK Agrawal Aptitude Series. Friends, in this session we are going to learn a technique for solving a problem on circular arrangement. Here the given problem is M, N, O, P, Q, R, S and T are sitting around a circular table facing the center. Q is third left of T, P is second left to Q but opposite to M. R and S are sitting together but S is not neighbor of T. P and Q are neighbor of N. Now question is who is sitting opposite to S? Friends, it is very difficult to imagine the answer of this question because there may be more than one question based on the information given. There may be three, there may be five, there may be even six questions. So let us learn how to analyze the given information so that we can answer all these questions in minimum time. Now in this question, eight persons are there M, N, O, P, Q, R, S and T and they are sitting around a circular table facing the center. So let us draw a circular table and eight persons 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They are sitting around a circular table facing the center. Now, whatever information is given and let us try to put that information in the given format. Now, first information is Q is third left of T. So friends, this is a circular table. You can start from any point. You fix the position of T just and Q is third left of T. So third, this is the left of T, this is the right of T because T is facing the center. Third left of T means 1, 2, 3. This is the third left of T. P is second left to Q. This is Q. This is the right side of Q. This is left side of Q. And P is second left to Q. So obviously 1, 2, P will occupy this position. P is second left to Q but opposite to M, it means opposite to P is M, M will occupy this position, opposite to P, R and S are sitting together, R and S can occupy, cannot occupy this position because only one space is there, they cannot occupy this position because only one space is there, so obviously R and S, they will occupy this position, but whether R will be here or here, S will be here or S will be here. It is not clear. So let us read it again. R and S are sitting together but S is not neighbor of T. Means S cannot occupy this position. So only R can occupy this position and S will occupy this position. Okay. Next statement. P and Q are neighbor of N. P is here, Q is here, they are neighbor of N, so obviously N will occupy this position. So now out of 8 persons, only 1 person is left and 1 space is left, so obviously O will occupy this position. So all 8 uh, positions are being filled based on the information given in the problem. Now you can answer any question, one question which is given here, who is sitting opposite to S? So certainly it is O. O is sitting opposite to S. If I ask who is sitting opposite to Q, certainly it is R. P is, who are the neighbor of P? S and N. So friends, you can answer N number of question based on this tabular information. So it is very simple to answer any question once you are having this format of the table. Thank you very much for watching this video. Friends, you can also follow me on Facebook. Thank you very much.